Hey, howdy there, guys. Uh, Hi. We're back. We just, what day is it? Saturday? Saturday. We just had a real massive breakfast at Mr. B's. It was delicious. Very delicious. Um, We found this today at Rite Aid in North Muskegon. I was mm -hmm. picking up my prescription, and uh, we got some prison draft picks. So well, that's very neat. Lucky. Very now lucky. we got, what is it? 15 cards, and there's a three card bonus pack. So a 12 card pack. In a three and it, it seems that Rite Aid might be the way because this is the second weekend in a row that we've gotten. Yeah, good some, football some from stuff. that place. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, not good, but like something fun. Yeah, better. Better than most. Here we go. We got a pink bonus pack. That's sexy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep that one safe. It's so shiny. All right, here we go, boys. I'm excited. I'm hoping for an auto. Uh, I'd be happy if I could just keep this pack. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, also I'd be happy enough with shiny that. Shiny to you all. Yeah. Nice. Let us know if you... Definitely nice cover. <laughs> Let us know if you also like to you all. Because Chance has quite a few Trevor Lawrence cards. I don't. You have five, <laughs> don't really, you? That's not a lot. I said quite a few. That's not... It's a few. Yeah, a I'd few. Say. A Not few. You're quite right. A few. You're right. He has a few. But I kept that pack flawless. We got in there. I'm a hero. Mm -hmm. All right. Starting off with Henry Ruggs. Can you see that? Yes, we can. All right. That's Henry Ruggs the third for Alabama. Pretty clean card. Got a Cam Newton. That's pretty dope. Yeah, I've heard that name. Yeah, he didn't do too too well uh, last season for the Jags, mm. but. And this ain't even his Jags uni, it's his college, which they'll all be college. Oh. Huh. Yep, because it's draft picks. Okay. Todd Gurley the second for Green Bay. Got a DeAndre Hopkins. Jordan Love, that's Jordan. pretty cool. Jordan Love. I like that. Coming up on something shiny and green. Let's see. Mm -hmm. A Daryl Henderson. I don't know that I've heard of him. I have not either. 2021. Tires, I think that is. Not too, too, too sure. Yep, but we do have another fancier one. It's a rookie card, Trevor Mooring. And I think maybe we could get Nathan McCrary out of here. Oh, yeah? Because it's collegiate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That'd be cool. Patrick Certain the second. It's a rookie card. Set that aside. Uh, Greg Russo, All American rookie. Come on, give us something juicy. Caleb Farley, rookie. I like the pink. I, don't know. I like the pink. Yeah. Seth Williams. All right, and on the back, Patrick Certain, the second rookie card. Crusade. He's a crusade man, yeah. Not too, too bad. No. Not, not terrible. Too, not too not a lot of players I knew. I like the Jordan Love and the Cam Newton. Uh, I guess all the other inserts were neat as well. I'm gonna set that crusade aside. Let's get these up. Uh, that All Americans for Greg Russo, of course. There we go. And prism cards are just nice generally if they're not misprinted and yeah, shit like that. They take care of them. Damaged. In, in the factory. Let's take care of this pack, hopefully. I like the pink. Yes. And it looks a little different than you're used to. Something we don't have. Yeah, we've met with our first bonus pack. Yeah. Very exciting. Looks like you're doing very well, not. not terrible. Okay, here's our bonus pack. Yarvis Landry for LSU. Yarvis. What's that? Corner. I don't know. Part of the picture, it's weird though. Yeah, it's, it's got a like nice a little refractor. stamp in it. It's got a Justin Herbert. That's pretty cool. Ooh, Herbert. That's nice. And a Kenneth Gainwell rookie mm. card. That's pretty cool. Nice Herbert card for sure to yeah, add to the you collection. To, you have to I like Bernard. those. Rainbow refractor ones. What we'll uh can I get a can I get an a Amen sleeve. and a sleeve? Amen. That's not too too bad, guys. I'm excited about it. Uh let me know what you guys thought about this uh 
I need me for some draft picks. Like if the CeeLo's ever worth it or not. Uh, I don't know what I'd say. It was only like, I forget, like 10-ish bucks, if that. 10? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't very expensive. But, you know, got one cool Justin Herbert for the collection. It was very cool. And a couple of new packs for the uh, open pack collection. I mean, the bonus pack one looks great. Yeah. Yes, that was a pretty cool one. The like unwrappings that. went well. Very they well. Went well. But alright guys, we will see you in the next one. And Yeah, you can check us out on Instagram at Subpar Unboxing. Subpar Unboxing. Um, we, we'll probably post this whole big lot uh, that we got today on this Saturday. Alright, yeah, definitely we'll set this one aside for a picture. But alright, we'll see you boys. Bye. Bye.